My dear sir, you are in a pitiful state. It might be a good idea if you go home and sober up a bit. R-E-N-O. <laughs> Pardon? It's me, Captain Obo. Obo! Proud commander of the just as proud crystal. So don't you, sir, me. Well, delighted. Captain, I'm Kate Walker. I'm looking for Steiners, the clockmaker. If I fall in the water, Taylor, it'll be to go straight to hell. So don't... Don't fall in the water, Sailor, you understand? Bastard's waiting for me. Who are you talking about? The monster of the lake is waiting for us all, miss. Ev everyone's time comes eventually. To finish the work. Come on. Back in the fight. Because you can never lower your guard. Never. Lost your way, pretty girl? Hello. Are you Mr. Steiner? Mm. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Steiner. My name is Kate Walker, and I've come to pick up the prosthesis for Kirk, the Yukel's spiritual guide. And well, dear Miss Walker, Dr. Efimova has informed me that the young man was not yet in any sort of condition to withstand the operation, and that... Mr. Steiner? Are you all right? It... It is impossible. That pendant you have around your neck. I would be very obliged if you would entrust me with it for a moment. Please, Miss Walker. Mein Gott! An XZ-2000 automaton heart in perfect working condition. A compensating spring memory. Pendulum ventricles and small mechanical pumps. Everything seems in excellent condition. Donnerwetter! Where on earth did you steal this, Miss Walker? I'm not a thief, Mr. Steiner. This medallion belonged to my friend Oscar. It's a souvenir that's very precious to me, you understand? And anyway, that's not at all what I came to see you about. Ah, so. And yet I am actually very familiar with this type of precision mechanism. An infernal precision. Incredible, unique expertise. 
For this was a Varlberg automaton, Miss Walker. Yes. It was Hans Varlberg who designed this object. Tell me, did you know him? Oh, yeah. He even lived here a few years. We did a lot of work together. He taught me so many different things, you know. So it is useless to try and make up silly stories, Miss Walker. And I am afraid that I am not about to allow you to leave here as long as you have not told me the truth about where this object comes from! Well, I'm waiting for any sort of credible explanation, Miss Walker. I didn't steal anything, so just give me the young Yukul's prosthesis and let me go! Oh, what?! Are you going to steal it too? I will never give anything to someone who attacks! <laughs> Mr. Steiner, are you all right? My heart... need... my medication... quickly! Just don't move. I'll go and get your medication right away. Make yourself right at home. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just own the place. Who would store medication in this mess? Still nothing. Kirk's prosthesis, but it looks like it isn't finished. A woman's writing saying, Grandfather, don't forget to take your medication three hours before dinner. Who would store medication in this mess?
All that clattering must get really tiring after a while. My heart. I need my medication. <sighs> Quickly. All that clattering must get really tiring after a while. So, you would <coughs> abandon me to my fate? No way. No medication. Nothing that could help him. That could do him more harm than good. No medication. There's no point. Nothing that could help him. That could do him more harm than good.
Look at me. <coughs> Are you satisfied? I just can't handle any aggravation anymore. Thank you for your precious help, my dearest Miss Walker. I'm afraid I may have judged you somewhat hastily. Don't mention it, Mr. Steiner. Tell me about the prosthesis. I need to take it back to Kirk very quickly, if, of course, you agree to let me have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a few small adjustments to make. It involves very precise and meticulous mechanics, understand? Will it take long? I'm sorry to insist, but I also have to give a hand to those unfortunate Yukels. I need to help them get across the lake with their herd of ostriches. I'm so worried about them. Once the mechanical leg is at last ready, I can go to the clinic and bring back young Kirk to you. That way you only have to worry about what happens to the other Yukels. Well, thank you. I'll gladly accept your help, Mr. Steiner. I'd be a fool not to take advantage of your sudden change of heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. But are you truly aware of what lies in store for the nomads on the other side of the lake? What on earth's the matter, Mr. Steiner? The next stage of your journey is the poor, cursed town of Baranor. It has become hell on earth since the time of the last great ostrich migration. Please join me downstairs for a moment, Miss Walker. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look just next to the films there, Miss Walker. You should find a film on Baranor. that would have suited Hans. Fantastic!
all look like him. Truly magnificent pieces, Nishtvar. The XZ-2000 model is most assuredly one of Hans's major masterpieces. Their mission was to bring back any survivors of the catastrophe to Baltimore, where the victims would receive the best care in doctors at UT Clinic. The crystal, the fairy usually responsible for linking the town to Baltimore and Baranor every day, carries a new type of rescuer to the scene of the drama and brought back the survivors of the catastrophe. So Baranor suffered the ravages of a nuclear accident. But according to that film, the automatons you designed with hands should have helped save lots of lives, right? I'm afraid that's not how things went. Because of Captain Obo. Ah, that must be Sarah. Please come this way, Miss Walker. I'll introduce you. Miss Walker, may I introduce you to Sarah, my granddaughter. Nice to meet you, Sarah. My name's Kate Walker. I actually owe Miss Walker a candle. Thanks to her calmness and peace of mind, I'm still here and on my feet. She found my medication and gave it to me before it was too late. Donner Vetta. You don't mean you had another attack, do you? Ah, you're being so very naughty, Grandfather. You absolutely must let Dr. Zemiatine examine you. Come on, stay calm, my little child. When I go to the clinic to take the prosthesis to the young Yukol, I'll stop by and see the good doctor. Until then, why don't you make yourself really useful to Miss Walker? She's looking for some way to transport the Yukol caravan to the other side of the lake. Well, I think I've already found the solution. The boat in the film, the crystal, it must be the ship that's docked in the port. If it was able to transport the automatons you and Hans built, it could carry the ostriches across the lake. Ah, that's not a bad idea. But unfortunately, there's a slight problem of size, dear Miss Walker. Sounds like you're talking about Captain Obo's alcoholism. I saw him earlier on the dock. That coward has been hiding himself in alcohol ever since he abandoned our automatons to Baranor and he'd rather simply die than go back. He tells everybody that the evil monster of the lake is waiting for him, and that as soon as he goes back on the water, the beast will just up and grab him. <laughs> but of course, that is the purest fantasy. Grandfather, I know you're still really angry with Captain Obo because he abandoned the automatons that you built with your friend Hans and Baranor. He was supposed to wait for them. They were going to take all the survivors they found in the rubble to the boat and then bring everyone here to safety in Valsambor. But in the end, when he got to the beach at Baranor and saw the disaster and all the dead, he became really afraid. The disease, the radiation. He must have had an uncontrollable panic attack, so he immediately turned back, dumped the machines on the crystal into the lake, and came back empty-handed to Valsambor. And the automatons have been there ever since, in hell. But who knows? Maybe today he'll want to sell. I'm sure Kate will be capable of convincing him to help the Yukels. I have to go do my waitressing shift in the tavern. Come by and see me later on, okay? Captain Obo will be there. All right then, I'll try and convince Captain Obo. Thank you for everything, Mr. Steiner. I don't know if I really should wish you good luck, dear Miss Walker. Baranur is only an open grave now. <laughs>